Andy, a good result. Yep, a uh, brilliant result, which is the most important thing, but the performance was absolutely different class. Uh, every single player on the pitch, from Sol right through to our strikers, worked really hard, and the, you know, the, the plan we had worked really well. And from the start of the game, Calvin hit, hits the bar in four minutes, and from then right to the last minute, I thought we were creating chances and, and playing really well, so a credit to every one of the lads. You say it was a, a massive team performance? Today. Yeah, it was a bit like last Saturday. You know, Dunfermline, I thought we played really well, we took a lot of confidence from the game. We were so disappointed to, to lose goals from set pieces and not to win the game last week. Uh, <laughs> but we managed to take that on to today's game, the confidence part of it. Uh, the boys have worked hard all week in training. We've been a bit short of numbers, but eventually we'd only one change from last week. And I think that continuity certainly helped us. Confidence you can see once, especially after the third goal, when yeah. just the difference what it, aye, what it aye. makes. It, 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 confidence is everything in football. and you know We're a new team again from the summer. Uh, everybody knows that. Uh, we are very young. We've got one or two experienced players in the team now, like, like Wally Gibson. I don't need to tell you, but we think of him, obviously. Uh, Josh Todd got his goal today, and it's no coincidence we played really well when, when, when Toddy and Wally have, have been in the team. That little bit of experience makes a massive difference. Alex Cooper as well, to be fair, you know, a little bit older when he's been in the team, it's, uh, it helps as well. There's some great performances today, the whole team, but Josh Todd, Ennis Cameron... Yeah. East, I yeah, I, th- I think they all deserve a, you know enormous uh, praise. As I said, that you know there's no easy games in this league. I w- watched uh, Air United against Hamilton last week, and it was a really good game, a tough game, a close game. So we knew we had a challenge on today, but we took that uh, you know in the front foot, and I, I think that's that's what helped. And as I said, uh, you know I think Josh DeBio again deserves a bit of praise. He's only trained one day in four weeks. Uh, and we had to come in and play today because of Alex Cooper's injury and enormous credit to him as well but it's right through the team every single one of them brilliant Given how big a game this was today and the pressure that they were on does that make the performance even better? Uh, yeah it does what it shows me is that, that we're learning we're, you know, we're learning how to manage games uh, as I said I thought we started really well uh, forward passes, forward runs, the big Ennis is a handful. Uh, we Lee Connolly, you know, again, is, is, you know, creates goals and scores goals for us. Uh, and the experience to take a touch at the right time and make sure we're defending well when, you know, when the ball's up the park. All those bits come into it. So I, I thought we managed the game really well today. Uh, the third goal certainly helps. 3 0, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's unusual to lose the game. But we had to get that third goal and we had to then go and play well after that. And we did. And the, the great thing was we continued to, to make chances. And Saul has said very, very little to do. That's what I was saying to, to Josh there about managing the game today because the performances haven't been that far away in some yeah. games but just haven't been able yeah. to hold out. Yeah, the, you know, there, there's, there's sometimes there's a reason for it. But like on Thursday we had only 11 fit players training uh, available for today. Uh, Uni's had to have a break after coming into the team last Saturday and playing 90 minutes after he'd been out for so, so long so he took a little bit of time recovery wise uh, Josh DeBay as I said only trained one day so that took us up to 13 and we had uh, Ian Fitzpatrick as well on the bench today not really fit and ready to come on yet uh, his, his injuries cleared up but his match fitness is a, is a good bit off so those guys put themselves forward today and that, that kind of sums up the spirit we've got and that, that made a huge difference today uh, DeBay and East on the pitch and in terms of the result and moving away from air as well, it's, you know we, we've got to try and look after ourselves. It's the league because everybody you know can see it's split into two. Uh, you know, it's honestly not any easier to play against Air United here than it is to play against Partick Thistle here. We had Partick a few weeks ago and and and, uh, and I thought we did really well against them. I thought thought we had the better chances. They maybe had a wee bit more of the ball, but there's very little between all the teams. I know the league shows differently, but it'll be interesting to see how it ends up. Morton next if you go up there and don't get a result then this would probably means nothing yeah but, but you know Morton are a, a, a club very similar to ourselves, you know. We, we, you know, we're, we're we're firefighting most of the time. At times, with we, we, with players and numbers and stuff like that. Uh, but without a doubt, going to Capello is never easy. There's no question about that. Uh, they've got a lot of good players. They went through a difficult spell. I'm so sad to see Gus losing his job, but they will be hard opponents as always. So you, you have no divine right to win anything. For us to go, we know we're good enough to go and win. No doubt about that, but if we just turn up and think it's going to happen, that's no, it's the way it works. We have to make sure we apply ourselves and be ready for the game and, you know, live properly amongst the, the kind of COVID situation, etc., as well, and make sure that uh, we're ready to go. And we'll make sure that's the case and, and it's up to us to go and get the three points. You can have a 
Enjoy your Christmas and then wait right. for Boxing Day. We're, we're working Boxing Day, so <laughs> I'll be half a glass of red wine for me. Great, thank you very much. See you, Sandra. Cheers.